All right, everybody. Chicago Area News, Steve Mark Tobin, and also at Sports Music Requires. And what I want to talk about today was the deal the Chicago Bears are trying to reach to get themselves to get a new stadium. Uh, Mayor Brandon Johnson has gone ahead and pitched in. This is Channel 2, Jim Williams, and him back in 2003. They're talking about it. It's the Bears going ahead and putting forth a new stadium plan. What I find pretty amazing, folks, is it's a lot of hubris, in my opinion. This is a horrible team. They haven't done jack squat in a long time. I mean, the last time they went to the Super Bowl was, what, 2007? They got whooped by Indianapolis anyway. I mean, when was the last time they made the playoffs? When was the last time they won double digits in games? You know, they, they really suck. They're a really bad team. And what are they asking for another stadium for? And right here... Uh, J.P. Pritzker, Illinois governor, Democrat, right? Very skeptical of using public funds for private sector things, which is what Democrats, Democrats don't like to give public funds to private sector. If this were a Republican governor, he'd probably be all over taking money from the private sector, public sector and giving it to the private sector because that's how it works in politics, folks. You have, you know, if there's losses, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to socialize those losses and make the public pay for it. But if there's gains, you're going to privatize those gains and make the people, you know, either one or five or ten percent go ahead and get those. So it's good that we do have a governor here, and this is what he says: "Quote, I remain skeptical about this proposal and wonder whether it's a good deal for the taxpayers." Sker said via the Chicago Tribune. There are a lot of priorities that the state has, and I'm not sure that this is among the highest priorities for taxpayers. See, there we go, right here. Owners of these private businesses need to put a lot more forward in order to have their dreams fulfilled and not just rely on the taxpayers of Illinois to have that happen for them. Now that is a good idea, folks. If you want to build a stadium, then build a stadium. But like J.B. Pritzker says, there are a lot of priorities the state has, and I'm not sure this is among the highest priorities for taxpayers. Absolutely, he's 100% correct, people. You know, everybody wants to talk about crime, how it's running rampant in Chicago, how we have Cook County, how Illinois has high taxes, high property taxes, all these things. Don't kid yourself for one second, people. If this thing gets passed and the Bears get their new stadium, it's going to take away some of the lakefront. It's going to be billions of dollars. And Mayor Johnson is going ahead over here, and he's saying that he's basically for it, really what he sounds like. And But he also wants to be able to protect the lakefront. And he says right here, you know, Chicago benefit, and that's what my proposal does. He's going. He runs the city of Chicago, keeping the Bears the commitment from the Bears to in Chicago, transforming transformation that exists here. He says right here. Then we're talking investing this moment, uh, creating hundreds of thousands of jobs. We're talking about three point five billion dollars income in four workers. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. Hundreds of thousands of jobs. There's what sixteen games. We'll say seventeen, whatever. So you know. You know, we'll just go with 16. That's half. There's eight games a year that are played there. The, these stadiums, now Johnson does go ahead and he does talk about things. We can have weddings there. We can do this. We can do that. We can kind of make it a multi-use facility. Why can't we do that with the current Soldier Field? I don't get it. They had Soldier Field and built all around it. And I've been into a high-rise party probably close to 20 years ago. River South over there, and I'm not sure what floor we were on, but we could see, you know, we could see the stadium, and we could see the, you know, the regular dome, not really a dome, but the circle that they, that they put on top of it as opposed to, so they had old soldier field, and they built up around it so they could get more people and make it look nice, and they're like, yeah, we don't want this, we want a whole new, we want a whole new one, and I just don't, I just don't see it, people, I, I don't see it, you know, if you have a, if you have a winning team, it's bringing in billions of dollars to Chicago, creating tens of thousands of jobs. And you can show the economic thing that says, yes, we've gone ahead and, you know, making something better. But like Governor Pritzker says, he's skeptical. It's a good deal for taxpayers. I'm absolutely 100 percent skeptical. It's a good deal for taxpayers. But I do know uh, right wing conservatives out there who are saying, that, oh, of course, it's a good deal for taxpayers. It's always a good deal for taxpayers. When taxpayers have their money taken from the public funds, from the public institutions, and given to private institutions, because that will virtually guarantee that that private institution will be successful, and the people in that private institution will reap windfalls, and not to put the money up for themselves, and then 
they go ahead and use public funds for it. I've never understood the concept. I don't think any public fund should ever be used for anything like this. And bears want taxpayers to pay about half of the $4.6 billion projected cost. What in God's name are they talking about? $4.6 billion for what? For a new stadium? For a losing football team? Get lost, man. And then, and then the Chicago White Sox are talking about they might go ahead and move if they don't get something. And Ryan Silver was talking about opening up his wallet, blah, blah, blah. All these losing sports teams are delusional. And they think that they bring in and mean more to the places where they're located that they can go ahead and push taxpayers around. If, if this stadium goes forward, taxpayers should pay half. I guarantee people watch. Tax, you know, taxes are going to go up. Property taxes can go up. In Illinois, we pay crazy high property tax. You pay crazy high taxes. You have, you know, all this the pensions and the water reclamation district. You know, I see the budget when it comes out and it's insane. You know, it's insane. You have to pay $8,000 on a $300,000 house. You know, I mean, it, it's nuts. And the bears want taxpayers to pay half. Screw the bears. They don't deserve anything. Their team sucks. They can leave. They can leave. They can leave Illinois for all I care. Who needs them? Go to Arlington Heights. I got all these right wing uh, conservative suburbanites telling me that, uh, you know, Arlington Heights is the place to go. Sounds good. You know, I've been over there a billion times. I know the Arlington Heights over there. I'm a criminal justice person. I've been in a courthouse many, many times covering stories. And racetrack is right across the street from that. And yeah, go ahead and build it over there and let them build up some bars and let them buy up some houses over there and turn that place into you know, a fiasco over there for eight, eight or nine games a year and, you know, see if they like, but at least maybe there won't be a logger jam like it is now in Chicago. So I'm a, I say to Chicago bears and to a new stadium, if they don't like it, you can hit the road and who cares.